going on Nate this is Daniel from Josh and Danny SEO so we're gonna take a quick look see what's going on and see what we can do by the way yes that is what I look like um, anyway uh, just going through over here G's transformation you got your uh, number over here that's great this is a Facebook page so there this is one of the bigger ways you can um, kind of get your business out there posting regularly does help a lot and you're doing that December 26th November 16th uh, November 14th so it, it's not going as quickly uh, you know as it could be but it's definitely you're you're being recent and that's exactly what you want um, interior and exterior painting more I would probably put a lot more in the intro if exactly what it is you do there are ways to make your um, your uh, Facebook page a little more professional I would probably start reaching out to uh, you know maybe other groups seeing if you can you know get in bigger groups so that you know you just post yourself you know once a week hey I just finished a job here and there you know it, it's a it's a good way to get you more through your Facebook page but let me show you what happens when you uh, take a look at more of a more of a website idea so actually let me back up from this just a little quickly and show you what I mean so I'm putting in something called Painters Albany, right? That's a, it, it's closer to, uh, you know, where you are. It's like, I don't know, right next to you. So it's also one of the bigger areas that people are going to reference the most. So this is what we call a buyer intent keyword. It's the core for all Google ads as well. And it combines location and service together in one. Actually, um, yeah, I can do New York. I don't think my uh, results will change too much. But as I scroll down, I got an ad for Cerebro Painters in Albany, but I then have, I don't even know how they're on top. They don't even have anything here as far as website goes. So they might be, uh, I mean, they might be doing a good job. I have no idea. But you have your GMB, Google My Business Profile. Very important to have one. About 30, 40% of all business will come from this over here. So, you know, being on top is something that's very important. But then you have your um, organic search, right? So you got Yelp. You get Angie. Anyone who doesn't click on one of these three ads or whatever are going to click on either the first, second, or third one. So it's very important to get into the front uh, run. Uh, we got Empire State Painting Contractors in Albany, New York. So when I was just searching for Albany, uh, you know, uh, without the New York at the end of it, my calculations changed just a little bit. So I'm going to go quickly put this in. But different variations, different keywords will create different people at the top of the page. So Empire State Painting. They're uh, going to be the number one competitor in Albany. Uh, so let's see what they got. So they have their number. It's a little messed up. It's a very old website, um, just based on how the layout is. Typically, this should all be up top. And then, you know, the number on the top right corner, make this a little smaller and put it to the left. But, I mean, they are the top for a reason. A lot of these are stock photos, but don't tell anyone. Because um, I've seen this like a hundred times. But about us, residential, commercial, contact us. So here's the thing. You definitely want to talk a lot more about what it is you're offering. You don't want to just leave it at, you know, obscure things. You want to have a scroll down menu of services so people can click on whatever it is they want. Now, I know this is what it is over here, but they should be links to other pages instead of it just being, hey, this is what we're offering. It should be, hey, click on here and we'll take you to a new link. So there's almost zero um, actual content on this page now Google's very strict about content they want to see about um, you know 1500 2000 words of content on your home page um, and they want to see you talking about what it is you're offering if you're not doing that then you're gonna you're missing out on a lot of uh, you know of solidifying the company um, yourself in the top spot so you can get rid of the competition that way but let's take a look at the back end over here um, this is a tool I use called Ahrefs and right now we have a UR rating uh, which is how strong the website is and again, it's old, so it's probably been there for a while. So they build credibility with that as well. So they have a UR rating of 24 for the strength of the website, but they only have a DR rating of 0.4, which is how much Google likes them. Now, all of this you want in the 30s and 40s and a ratio of one to one. So they're doing a terrible job of trust. And that has to do a lot with backlinks. Now, a backlink is where you have your website link somewhere else where somebody can click on it. And then a referring domain is when it comes back to you. Now, not all backlinks are created equal. Some are more spammy than others, like BuzzFeed and Wikipedia. Definitely want to stay away from those. But even with the 34 referring domains, only 11 actually come back. That's why their DR rating is so low, because the ratio is just 5%. It's terrible. Um, and then they might have a lot of spam in there. But last but not least, we have organic keywords. So an, a keyword is what somebody will put into Google, right, like I showed you before. And uh, what it is is we have 55 different variations of what people might search for. And if uh, they type in something, 
uh, that matches what we have, uh, we'll get a hit. So right up here, we have commercial painting contractors near me. Now, honestly, not a great keyword because it's not location specific. So anyone in the United States and the world can type in commercial painting contractors me near me. So for all you know, these people are in, are in Austin, Texas or Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah, he's getting 31 people a month to his website through it, but none of them are going to be good leads. Now, he is trickling in a whole bunch of other things because he's in the positions to get them, but let's take a look at what they are. Painters Albany, New York. Excellent. As you knew, he uh, was number five. 200 people a month search for it. 18 are coming to his website through it, and these are what we call buyer intent keywords. So these people are looking to hire, and he's in position five for it. If he was in position one, he'd be getting about 15 to 20%. House Painting Albany, New York. So just a different variation. Exterior Painting Albany, New York, 100. So as you can see, different variations will get you different results. And there is search volume uh, on his website. Let's see, how much volume does he actually have coming in through this? Eh, it doesn't matter. But as you can see, he's bringing in traffic because he's, in, he's on the first page. Now, once you get off the first page, you're going to start losing it. And again, you don't want any of the near me's. I don't even know why he's, searched, why he's doing these guys, um, simply because they are anywhere in the United States. It's not just where you are. So how does this really help you out? Tony, honestly, all you really got to do is uh, you don't uh, have a huge amount that you do. I'm sure, you know, if you looked at it carefully, it would be probably about like an eight to 12 page website. Uh, got to get good content in there. Um, you know, 500 per page, 1500 on location pages, 2000 on the homepage alone. And then from there, add in all the great keywords that you need. You know, uh, typically it's, you know, one to every 125 words. But, you know, get in good keywords, get in good pictures um optimize it well get good backlinks in there as well take them from your opposition only the 11 good ones don't take the other ones and then from there you should start be able to take it you should start to be able to take over the albany market as far as painting goes that's all i got for you nate if you do have any questions please feel free to reach out other than that you yeah, have a good one man bye